Rich, hi mate, thanks for coming in today. Really enjoyed it. Uh, got some got some good stuff done and, and found some interesting stuff as well. Um, these swings on the screen are your original swings, just when we when we first kind of met up, and you kind of said that you're a, you feel you're a much better iron player than you are with with your driver. Um, your path average with an iron is level, so square path delivery um, to marginally left. Um, but really interestingly, with your driver, the club that you struggle with the most, completely different pattern, path average six left, um, and all of the, the shots that we captured were, were heavily heavily left path. And there's, there's some slight differences here in, in your motion. Um, you can see how much more twisted you get the club head relative to your hands. Um, at top of backswing, and, and for me, this just steepens up the transition maybe a little bit more than, than you would like um, with with you with your driver. So so for me, there's the there's the first kind of big big difference between your iron swing and your driver swing. You have to kind of hang back a little bit here. You'll see your body kind of hanging back. Um, much more so than what you what you do with your iron um, to try to get this club shallowed out a little bit and get it into a decent decent kind of de delivery place. So there's there's the there's a big difference. Um, so we work mainly on on driving because that's your that's the area you'd like to improve. So we we, we stuck with working on on driver. And first thing we've just kind of helped you out with is we've narrowed your stance a little bit on the left and we've just brought the ball position back a little bit. Um, you, your ball position is quite a long way forward, um, which is, is not going to be helping this leftward leftward path that you'd like to try and adjust. Um, obviously your preferred ball flight would be straight or a mar you know marginally a draw, whereas at the minute you're achieving a fade. So we're trying to bring the ball position back a little bit just, just to help your, your path. And then the second biggie that we that we worked on was at top of the backswing. And you're going to see significant difference here. So obviously you were getting the club a little bit twisted up. We've worked on your wrists and your wrist alignments to just try and neutralize that a little bit. So completely different top of the backswing. Um, the feel for you is the John Rahm pattern, the John Rahm feel. Uh, this one on the left felt super exaggerated. Um, often we have to exaggerate things a lot just to change just to change the real motion just just a little so this felt super super exaggerated um, also remember you felt super uncocked with your wrist as well so you felt like um, your your ulnar deviation your, your wrist cock was um, you, you didn't have any you know we really tried to take take some wrist wrist angle out to get this to get this shape now for me the benefit of this is in early transition the golf club was shallower you can see the, the difference there in how you move from top of the backswing to tran to early transition that's beautiful whereas before it's a little bit steep and then you have to hang back to try to get the club into a um, some kind of delivery, and the, the path goes left anyway. So we've got the club a little bit shallower, and then we're going to get you moving on to the ball a little bit better, not hanging back, but actually shifting on to the ball a little bit, a little bit better. So that's your homework. Feel free to send me through some swings through the app. Uh, you're more than welcome if you feel that helps, and we'll catch you in a few weeks. Cheers, Rich.